So all I need you to do, this is very simple, this is the state minimum. You're gonna stand on one leg. You're just gonna put your foot about six inches off the ground, keep your hands about six inches off your side, and lean your head down. Okay, can you do that? Let's see. Fairly solid, hold it, hold it there. Not you yet. I got something different for you. Okay, he's pretty good, right? What I need you to do now is just four to five with Dale, do the exact same thing. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> no, those aren't grandpa's glasses, those are called beer goggles. Now, yeah, they do, don't they? As you can see, I've done nothing to the guy. I gave him one drop out, one drop out, oh God can't stand on one leg. This is the state minimum to get a DUI. I would encourage any of you guys, you guys can come up after, we can talk, however you want to do it, but people can't beat it. But every day, people drive like this. Would you want your children driving opposite, or family, or loved ones driving opposite of you like that? The state says you could possibly drive with that at that level. We pride ourselves, our community, loyalty, friendship, the things that we've grown up, loyal to our friendships. How many of you guys have that friend that you fought for, you stood up for, they're getting in trouble, you'll take the blame for them? Maybe as a female, your girlfriend's very wear a goofy outfit on a first date, and you'll tell her, you probably shouldn't wear that tonight. Everybody has those friends. The thing that amazes me is the thing that changes your life forever, and as a friend, we do nothing to stop it. We'll go to a party, and we'll let that person get in the car and drive away. We will let them go home when we could have done something. I tell you guys this, the night of, the, the night of my son's accident, there was 40 people at that party, and every one of them knew he was drunk, watched him throw up, and let him get in a vehicle and drive away. They all live with that guilt today of not doing something. We stand up, we take a stand and say, we're not gonna have this. I'm not gonna let you drive. A rule of thumb that I try to tell people is, if you have to ask a question, are you okay to drive? You've already answered that. The last thing you want is to know that you should have did something and then get the phone call later that now your friend is in jail or dead. And it happens 10,872 times a year. There's approximately 1.4 million DUIs in the United States every year. And that's only a tenth of the ones that are caught. There's over 10 million that they sell. So, as a community, what we're saying as we bring this here, what is it that Logan's Promise is doing? We provide safe lives, we work on it in the community. You see our signs over there, we set those up. What we're asking from Princeton uh, is, Join us a driver for Lyft app. We sponsor Safe Rides through Lyft. Become a Safe Ride advocate in your, your own community. Become a driver. Register to be a driver. If you're out drinking, get the app on your phone, call it up. A driver will come pick you up. When we run those programs, it's on our dollar. We don't do it every weekend because we still need to raise more money to keep going, but it's there. You guys can provide that for your own community. Go, you know how to wait for a cab service. It's there, it's already in place. All you have to do is become a driver and be an active person at night. I've taken enough of your time. I appreciate you guys letting us be here. You can see our victims over there at the table. Everyone is from our community. We got Trevor James in the, in the middle there. There's my son, Logan. Uh, this, this jersey was donated. Jackie Young is a rookie jersey. I can't confirm or deny whether it's worn or not worn. I don't know if it's sweaty or stinks. Don't know those things. What I do know is that's her, her autograph on that jersey. And Uncle Jeff is live to show her how much her community stands behind her and help raise money for a great mission.